I got some pretty exciting news, and by exciting news, I mean jaw-dropping news, and by jaw-dropping news, I mean I just got accepted to preview Google Earth Studio. Now, that itself is nothing special because you could get access to Google Earth Studio as well. It's actually pretty easy, it's free, and you could go onto their website and apply right now. But what is really exciting is the possibilities that Google Earth Studio offers. Now, Google Earth Studio is pretty much the exact same thing as Google Earth in terms of 3D imagery and data. However, Google Earth Studio is for creators, animators, teachers, video makers. It's for all of us to create stunning visuals. And I mean stunning. A couple days ago, we played a little game on my channel, Google Earth or Drone. And you had to spot the difference and see if this was a Google Earth shot or a drone shot. And it was actually pretty hard to spot the difference and see which was a Google Earth shot and which was a drone shot. Now that took a lot, a lot of effort. Faking a drone shot was not easy. However, with Google Earth Studio, check out what you could achieve. And this is an excerpt from their Google Earth Studio animation reel. Check this out. This. This is what was literally jaw dropping for me. Like the first 50 seconds are just absolutely stunning. Now before I do a tutorial on how to get those crazy smooth looking drone shots where you're just flying through between buildings, I'm first going to do a tutorial on the basic interface of Google Earth Studio and some of the potential it holds and then I'm going to dive deeper into Google Earth Studio for another tutorial in probably like two days or something. Alright, let's get started. So in Google Earth Studio, you have a few quick start projects. You have the Zoom 2. You have the orbit, which is a perfectly smooth circular orbit around a point of interest. You have the point to point, which is a smooth camera animation between up to six different points. A spiral, which is like the same thing, but it's a gradually shrinking descending orbit around a point of interest. And then you have the fly to an orbit. It's a zoom in with a smooth transition into a full circular orbit. Next we have animatable effects. And one of the cool things about this is that you could play with the sun's rotation which means you could actually create time lapses within Google Earth Studio. And you could turn on golden hour if you want. Golden hour could be every hour. You could also include clouds or ocean overlays. And I think you could also import your own overlays. I'll have to look into that. Finally, we have 3D camera export, which is compatible with Adobe After Effects. This allows you to create and export track points along with a project's camera data really easily. Which means you can create all sorts of labels, text, graphics that matches your camera movement. This about sums up the features of Google Earth Studio. And now let's take a quick look in the user interface and how we can get started. So you could type in the location you want to go to in the search bar here. To save a coordinate, you could click this double keyframe logo here, and these keyframes everything, latitude, altitude, camera rotation, etc. Next, you could find a different location through the search bar again, or you could stay in the same location but find a different angle. And to do that, you could hold control and click and drag, and then you have this tilt pan effect. If you hold alt and click, you have this circle that pops up which you could orbit around by dragging your mouse. Once you find the right spot, you could click that double keyframe again and you could preview your animation. To make the animation look a little bit smoother, you could right click, ease out, and then right click, ease in here. And then you could also right click and press show value graph or show speed graph to really customize your keyframes to get some really nice smooth motions and speed ramps. When you're done, go ahead and click render. If you press advanced, you can include 3D tracking data to use in conjunction with After Effects. The last little glitchy thing as of right now is that you can't open another tab when you render, but you could open a new window as you render. All right, there you have it. That's the quick intro to Google Earth Studio. Now, that's just a basic overview of how to get some sick shots, but I really want to get into how to create something like what we saw in the Google Earth Studio animation reel. Now that's going to be a tutorial in the next two days. I'm going to work on it and see what I could get and show you guys. So thanks for watching. I'm going to be back with another tutorial tomorrow. 
this is part of the 30 day 30 tutorial challenge where I learn something new every day create something sexy and make a video tutorial on it so I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video